Canadian resident Nikki Goyer recounts feeling terrified after she and her fiancé drove through a raging wildfire on August 18 near Sorrento, British Columbia, to rescue Goyer's sister-in-law who evacuated from a town nearby. Goyer said her brother stayed back to protect his Scotch Creek home, where they had previously installed a fire hose after the brother's other home burned down at a different time. Goyer lives in Kamloops, British Columbia, and her home was fine. Thousands of British Columbia residents were on high evacuation alert on Saturday after rapidly intensifying wildfires forced the Canadian province to declare a state of emergency, while some sections of a key transit route between the Pacific coast and the rest of Western Canada were partially closed. Holy heat. Oh my god. Holy shit. Yeah, I was terrified. We had we were going out for dinner and I got a call from my brother and had to pick up his wife from Sorrento. She had been ferried over from Scotch Creek and I had to pick her up in Sorrento. So this was uh, just a, a small stretch between the Squilax Highway the entry into Scotch Creek from the main highway and Sorrento, which is the next community after that. No trouble breathing. At the very end, you, where the right to the right, that is where we felt the most intense heat in the car. You could feel a little bit of warmth driving through it, but most of it, it was just the fear of all the red. I didn't think we wouldn't survive because I felt that we were coming out of it you could get that sense a little bit. Um, my fiance was more worried we'd have an animal darting out in front or, or a person or, or a tree falling down. So he was driving a little slower than normal. And I was saying, get the heck faster, get us out of here. I was irrationally screaming at the traffic coming our way just after we're clearing it saying, you know, just trying to get my fiance to stop the stop traffic and he's uh, yeah so it was scary it was not long after that i found that they had closed the highway but i know my brother and his uh and his son my nephew stayed back to save their house and they did and helped save their neighbors and at 11 p.m as of 11 p.m last night uh, my mom's house was okay so we're just still hoping that that will remain Fire is just very unpredictable. You don't know which path it's really going to follow. And we've had some intense winds over the last two days. And of course, fire in and of itself creates its own wind.